What's going on, y'all? So we're back. We're in the garage currently. Here's my car. We'll give it a little, little full view real quick. So it's a 2019 Volkswagen. Um, I changed out the rims. I painted the calipers red. I got the tent done. I got a new air filter coming in soon. So doing some slight stuff to it. And I don't think the YouTube has actually officially met Apollo yet. He's gonna run over here. Oh, there he is right here. But <laughs> what's up, buddy? Can you say hello? Oh, hello, hello. Yes. Can you go back over? Go back over, bud. Come on, over. Good boy. So, <laughs> this is Apollo right here. <laughs> he, uh, you can't even really see him. Uh, let's go. Let's go find some better lighting. We're at the park, Apollo. So I'm just gonna play toss it in while we talk. Real quick. Hey. Dude, how are you already covered in grass? You've been here 30 seconds. Here you go. We're good. So. Uh, the transition has been just unreal. Um, it's it's a lot harder than I thought. So, you know, coming out of the Navy, so for anybody that's new to the channel, uh, I spent the last three years in the Navy, and um, it was an experience to, to say to say the least. So coming, you know, coming back here, I was kind of like, okay, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of an adjustment process, but nothing crazy. Um, you know, I don't need to be too worried about stuff. And it's been extremely stressful. So going from being told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, all this stuff, and being told, hey, this is what we're doing for the day, boom, 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 to then coming back and just having complete freedom to kind of do what I want to do, it's a different thing. Now give me a second, this guy's a little lot. Here, buddy. boy so yeah it's been it's been a completely different thing you know and uh, luckily I have Apollo with me you know I, I was able to get a car and um, I have my wonderful girlfriend who's been extremely supportive my family's been extremely supportive but I was actually talking with this prior vet he was in the Marine Corps for I, I want to say it was 16 to 17 years and he was just talking about uh, when he came back you know he saw combat he was one of the he was uh, part of the team that raided Haddam Hussein stuff and um, he lay lost a squad on all that so he's seen combat knee blown up got wing in the head you know been has you know hip not hip replacements but you know metal replacements for bones and everything all over his body so I was like well I'm not that extreme you know he's like it doesn't matter he's like you you do one tour you know you spend two years three years four years ten years it's it's all the same it, it's chasing a fly um, he's like it's all the same man and, and it's it's hard because you come back and you know you're excited to see your family and everything but your family doesn't know what you went through your family doesn't know all the stuff that you've done and and all the stuff you had to deal with you know completely giving up your entire life for the government and having the government tell you exactly what to do and everything he's like they don't know that he's like so you're gonna feel lost you're gonna feel lonely you're gonna feel confused and it's gonna be stressful and he's like i was like okay well how do i get over that the fact is he's like you don't simple as that you just don't you know it's just a thing where it's like you find people who have gone through what you've been through you make friends with them and you guys just you know you hang out you talk it's the same thing that we do when we're overseas you know when i was in japan all of us were alone together it was you know no families no nothing like that yes some people were married and had kids and everything so it was different for them but for you know all my single buddies and everything where we all went out and everybody was home uh we all you know we stayed connected we're still connected and uh He's like, that's why you didn't feel lonely there. He's like, you may not have been happy, but you didn't feel lonely because you had other people that were going through the same thing that you were going through. And it, it really just shed a light onto everything and kind of what I was feeling. Let me throw this for this guy again. Go get it. Good boy. I don't know if y'all can see him, but he's getting quick, dude. Look at that. Come here, boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's, uh, he's, he's three months now, for anybody that's like, oh my gosh, and he's a black German Shepherd, purebred, he's not a lab, he's not anything else. Purebred, German Shepherd, um, he's amazing. He's learning very quick. Uh, but yeah, so it's been stressful. Um, so what I've been doing since I've been back, I pretty much landed when I uh, officially got out of the Navy. I had to, I flew back from Japan, I was in Seattle for about four or five days. During my out processing, they allowed me to take leave. So I applied for 10 days of leave. It got approved uh, the same day. So the next day, I ended up coming back down here. And then I was here for 10 days. And on that 10th day, I drove up to Seattle from Orange County, California. So it's about uh, 1,200 miles, I believe. And I think it was an 18-hour drive. Um, I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly. I left at like 
7 or 8 a.m., something like that, and it was it was a long drive. I ended up staying. Go get it. Go. I ended up staying in Wairika, which is uh, top of Northern California, right before the border, like right on the border to Oregon. Uh, and then I finished my drive, which was additional seven or eight hours that following day. I signed my paperwork. So literally within 72 hours, I drove up to Seattle, signed my DD-214, got the copy, drove back down in 72 hours. It was a pain in the butt. But uh, got out, I came back, I started doing security work. So I was working with a few different companies and you know, I was just kind of getting my foot in the door. And now that my foot's kind of been in the door and it's, you know, honestly, security is it's something that I was doing in the Navy. So it's all it's all pretty much the same no matter where you go or what you're doing. Right. Um, yes, there are some differences, you know, if you're doing executive protection or things like that. But if you're you know on site and you're protecting protecting the location, that's exactly what I've been doing. I was protecting, you know, my boat. I was standing, standing, standing guard at a gate, standing there checking IDs and, and stuff. So it's the same thing now. I was dealing with drunk and disorderlies. Guess what? If you work at a bar or something, you're dealing with drunk people. So it's all, it's all, you know, one of the same to me. Um, Difference is, I'm not fully kitted up with my vest, my M9, occasionally my M4. I'm not, I'm not in all of that. I'm literally in, you know, black tee, black pants, black shoes. So I carry a flashlight. <laughs> That's it. Um, Good boy. So. Uh, I've been doing that. Uh, last weekend, I worked a Cartier event for anybody that didn't see on my social media. So Cartier, the expensive jewelry company, they were up in West Hollywood, and I ended up running security for them for a bit. Uh, and then I've done stuff here and there. I'm actually about to start working for Weed Maps. Uh, I just to put it out there. I do not smoke. I don't. I don't do any of that. Um, it's just. A, it's just a security gig at their executive office. So it's just going to help break in some more money. I don't need the grass. No, the ball's there. Stop. Puppies, man. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Come here, bud. Come here. Okay. So yeah, uh, doing that, and I actually got accepted to the OC Sheriff's Orange County Sheriff's Department here in California. So I start. He's right here. I start my entrance process. What's going on, guys? Uh, I start my entrance process on. Uh, September 25th, so 21 days. I'll take the test and everything like that. And uh, what's up, buddy? Ready? 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 Go get it! Go get it! Apollo. So yeah, I got accepted to Orange County Sheriff's. I start in 21 days the entrance process. So I take a test, uh, physical, and like a physical test, like you know, push up, sit ups, run, all that. And then they do a preliminary background check, and then I go into an interview, and then a full background check that could take anywhere from six months to a year. Extensive process, but my goal with that is to actually become a full-time SWAT member for the OC Sheriff's. Um, that's kind of been a thing since I was a kid as well. So military and police were my childhood, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. So I gotta do it, you know? Give me one sec, let's get the guy interview. Hey. Yeah, I start that, um, and besides that, man, I'm just trying to trying to adjust to this. It's it's a lot, you know, but I've been able to kind of be home and, and see everything, see everybody. It's been fun, man. You know, it's stressful for any other veterans that are going, you know, getting out or you're about to get out or anything like that, or you are out and you've made this this transition. Please comment below, like, and I'm not doing this just for comments. I'm actually genuinely curious to see what you're out processing is like, what you're doing now. Uh, ways that you've helped that that have helped adjust you know you to the civilian life so please comment below let me know i would love to learn i'd love to try out some new stuff and see the best way that i can you know make my life a little bit more stress-free so yeah that's just the honest everything uh, i do want to say for anybody that is watching this off instagram or snapchat or anything and saw this posted on there uh, i apologize <laughs> for the very, very late thing. I know it was about two weeks ago I said I was gonna drop this and I'm just making it today and I'm dropping it today. 
uh, it's just it's it's been just crazy and I've been extremely tired so my apologies on that inconsistency on my part appreciate the support you guys I appreciate the love and everything we'll do one more little clip of this little this little guy let's pick him up real quick show you guys up close on the camera come here buddy oh yeah who are these guys can you say hi to the camera buddy you say hi to the camera <laughs> good boy yo oh yo oh you smell like grass have you been eating grass? Yes, you have. So, as y'all can tell, man, he's getting he's getting big. We're gonna get him service qualified, so he can go with me everywhere. Okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, okay. Again, appreciate the support, y'all. If you guys haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know the drill. So, next video coming soon. Peace.